Hey everybody, it's Scott Omaro. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Optifine with Fabric in MultiMC. Okay, and guys, I'm going to be very thorough in this explanation. And so uh, there may be parts that some people already know or whatever, but it can be helpful to other people. So just be aware that I'm going to be thorough in this information that I give. Okay, so to get Optifine, you want to go to Optifine.net. That is the official site and the only place to get Optifine. I'll leave a link in the description. When you're on Optifine.net, go to the downloads page. On the downloads page, you will see the newest version of Optifine listed at the top here, okay? And you can download that if that's the version that you need. If you need another version, then hit the show all versions button and browse for that version. There may be preview versions available for some uh, various um, one, various releases, okay? So you could use those buttons as well. Now, Fabric only goes back to 114, so you wouldn't be getting anything below 114, so be aware of that. All right, now, to get it, hit the download button, but be aware that if you do not have ad blockers, then you need to uh, be aware of some things, all right? So we're gonna hit download, and if you don't have an ad blocker, you're going to see a big ad in this window. Do not click anything in this window. There may be other crazy things that happen, like it may ask you to share your location, or there may be pop-ups or something like that. But guys, what you want to do is you want to go to the top right-hand corner and hit this skip button right here. There may be a server, some kind of server button here, add to server, something like that. Ignore that you want the skip button. So hit the skip button uh, and hit download. Now, if you have ad blockers, it'll be like what you saw there, white and everything's good. So when you hit download, it'll download to your disk. Now, I do want to tell you because they offer the option that Optifine gives you the option to skip all those ads and all that kind of stuff by saying, use the mirror link. So be aware though that they are ad supported that they've worked hard for years and years to keep optifine updated for all the versions and ad revenue helps keep them alive all right but if you use the mirror link it will skip all the ads and take you to the direct download so you can download it to your disk then now i have a browser extension called uh, virus total for browsers vt for browsers i recommend that you use it you hit ok and it will send it to virus total and you can get a virus total report i'm going to show you that to show you it is a clean file all right so it's been scanned by 58 engines all the major ones and it's clean all right but chrome is going to give you a warning here at the bottom that says this type of file can harm your computer do you want to keep optifine and the name of the file it's talking about Java jars in general. It's a generic warning talking about Java jars. It also does it for Windows EXEs, executables, and also for app files and a number of other files that could potentially have problems with them, all right? You're getting it from the official Optifine site. You don't have a problem. We've seen the virus report. Everything's good. Choose keep and it will download it to your disk, all right? So now to add it to MultiMC as a fabric mod, you're going to need another additional piece of software called OptiFabric. Only get it from curseforge.com. That's the official site as of now. Uh, maybe that'll change in the future, but curseforge.com is a safe place to get it. I'll leave a link in the description for it. All right. So on OptiFabric here, if you're running the newest version of Optifine for the latest version of Minecraft, then you can just select this download link here all right um, if you need a version down to 114 as of this you can get it from here if you need another version for some other reason it's kind of weird on the site but you can go to files and then you can choose the view all button here all right this view all button then you can select versions so if you needed one point 14 by itself for 114.2 or something like that you could select it from that list but generally you're going to want the newest one if you're running the latest version of minecraft so we will just grab that here and download it directly to our disk okay so uh, you'll get that same warning because again it's java jar you're getting it from curseforge it's a safe site and we can choose to keep that all right and that's fine all right now if you wanted to scan that link this didn't grab it from there in the virus total you could right click on it and choose vt for browsers scan selected link 
and it would scan that link. All right, it didn't get automatically sent for whatever reason, but it'll go through its analysis. Looks like it's gonna take a moment. Uh, there it is, we'll get to it. So it's all clean there. And on CurseForge, it's clean. All right, so now we have the pieces of software that we need. Now, if you have a mod pack that already has fabric in it, then you can ignore this step. Otherwise, you need to create an instance. You can right click to do it, or you can use this add instance button at the top here. So add the instance that corresponds to the version of Optifine that you downloaded. You cannot mix and match versions. They have to match each other. Same thing with Optifabric. It has to match the version of Minecraft, all right? So we're gonna choose 116.4. We're gonna right click on that, and then we're going to right click to get the edit instance. Now there's a button over here that's edit instance as well. They work the same. Hit that, and now we need to install Fabric. So, all right, so we're gonna choose the button along the side here in the right hand column that says install Fabric. We're gonna select the latest one, unless there's some reason that the OptiFabric version that you downloaded requires another version. Be aware of that, read a little bit, the change logs and stuff, it'll tell you, all right? Hit okay, that will bring down Fabric, all right? Now, we add OptiFabric and OptiFind in the loader mods section. So select loader mods here, that is your mods folder. And we could choose the add button and we could go through and select these two files and choose open and add them or alternatively you could select them out on your disk and drag them into the window there all right like such uh, be sure you don't get extra files that you don't want all right so it's easier kind of you to use the add button but you can drag them in i want to demonstrate that now when you do that it's going to add it to your mods folder you can see the mods folder here by view folder if you had other fabric mods installed they would be listed in here they would also be listed in this window as well if there was a lot of them then you could choose to uh, filter to see optifine and optifabric by just typing opti right there that would that would show both of them okay now you when you launch it will work if for some reason you want to remove either of these you can select it and hit the remove button if you want to temporarily try without keep in mind these two go together then you can disable both of these all right you can't disable one or the other if you don't if you install optifabric by itself without optifying it will give you a warning when you launch but now we're ready to launch so let's go ahead and let it launch if you're first installing fabric for the first time you'll see it pull down a bunch of files um, to do so and then uh, we'll let the launch happen okay uh, we don't get any indication in the main window while the while the launch is happening but once you get to the main screen you'll see it says minecraft and their version and fabric modded to let you know it's a fabric modded profile and it'll list the optifine and the optifine version there so if we hit options and we choose video settings we can also verify that optifine is here and its version and you'll see a bunch of different uh, new options beside those of the regular um, uh, Minecraft video settings all right so there you go Optifine is installed it worked correctly with Optifabric and there you go guys if that helped you in any way then please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel for more multi MC videos and thanks so much for watching guys I do so much appreciate it have a great day we'll see you in the next one this is Scott Omato bye bye